All right, just got done listening to The Art of Ed's um, number 15 episode, and it was all about failure or lesson plans. Let's see, what is it called? Teaching on the Fly When Best Laid Plans Go Bad. Oh my goodness, so true, everything that was discussed. Now, I think that um, Andrew and Tim were absolutely spot on when they said it's less of an issue when you're teaching elementary because you teach it over and over and over. So every time that I start a new lesson and experiment a little bit, by the time that I teach it the fifth time, it's pretty dang good. But um, they talked about failure through experimenting, and that is majority of the time where I have failure or when I'm not fully prepared for the lesson. So those are the two times that I have the most amount of failure. Um, the other point that uh, the boys made, Andrew and Tim, they were talking about um, giving kids ownership to the experiment that you're trying on them, t calling them guinea pigs, and I do that constantly. Every time I try something new, I call my group guinea pigs, and I actually, because I'm teaching elementary, make them act like guinea pigs. And um, and then at the end of the lesson, I always do a good reflection, good or bad. So I ask for positive feedback as well as negative feedback, and boy, the kids love giving me their feedback, and they're so smart, so dang smart. So. Yes, tons of failures in the art room, but isn't that what makes it interesting? Thanks, guys. It was a great um, episode, episode 15. You guys got to check it out.